day seven tip take install here we go so more cable management i hate these connectors these things just sometimes don't ever want to come off so i ended up just not fussing with it this is the harness cable management so instead of opening up the old harness i like just adding on the new harness with smaller zip ties that way i'm not undoing that um, mouse nest of rat's nest of wires and causing more headaches for myself. Plus it's a nice way if you are the one working on it in the future, you know that, hey, if I take off the black ones, that's just the first, um, the latest wire harness that I installed. So, but usually you're not gonna be the next person working on it. So the future mechanic won't have any clue about it and good luck. Here is cable wrap again to protect for any of the chafing as it passes through those sheet metal pieces this is on both sides in the cabin coming down through doing the wire wrap finding the air conditioning i think that's an air conditioning line not an air conditioning but at least the uh, air vent line coming in so trying to figure out a way that's elegant that won't push and create problems when you're putting on the interior panels and just making it look nice and neat you know, there's sometimes you'll open up an aircraft I've seen that looks like someone just threw wires in there. Not cool. Here I am using a laser to place where I think I'm gonna run the fuel line. This is not an exact science and probably could have been done better, but this is the tools that we used. So then I ended up drilling through the sheet metal and then grabbing a bigger drill then to widen it out, checking for the caliper size, and then coming through and cleaning it up with the reamer tool, just to deburr and taking anything off of it because I don't want any sharp edges. There's a fuel line going in, and that's what it'll look like when it passes through. So then you just keep doing that down through all the little baffles that you gotta go through and ribs so that you can clean it out again, obviously, take a vacuum and clean out all that nasty shavings. Again, deburr, make sure it's the right size for your grommet, put your grommet inside there, and then you're able to continue pushing in the fuel line. And ideally try to get this as straight as possible. Otherwise you gotta start bending aluminum and aluminum does not like to bend. This is me just showing you the external of what it looks like to have to do this without having your eyeballs up there, which is not fun at all and does lead to sometimes a misdrill here and there if you're not careful but with practice you kind of get used to it and again cleaning up after you've created any of your shavings now anthony is installing the mount for the fuel pumps these go on that spar and you drill through put the bolt through put the washer and he did it great on one of them I think this is the right hand side or maybe this is the left hand side. I can't recall. Anyway, he's installing it and setting it up prior to building out the entire pump. So that's what it looks like right there. And it's got the cable. So he's just positioning it. So it's set for easy access, finishing out the drill right there. And unfortunately we had a mishap later, but I'll get to that. So here he is laying out all the instructions on how to assemble the fuel pump. There's the various little check valves and lines to keep it from you know, siphoning back off or putting it in other directions. I didn't play with this part, so I don't know exactly what every single part is, but if you get your Flint Arrow kit, it'll have all the details and data in it for you. But just going through and properly constructing, tightening, putting on different types of thread sealer, I assume is what he's doing right there. That looks like a little another check valve. It's all set. Now it's a matter of getting that even larger thing up into the inspection port holes, putting on additional check valves and now testing it, seeing how it fits in there. And this is where things got sad. So in drilling through, remember those wire harnesses that I spent all that time and energy putting in? Yeah. Well, drill went and chewed up some wires and this is what ends up happening sometimes so it delivers a sad t-gray went right through the cable <laughs> support yikes